Kate Blanchett returned to the role of Hela in the Marvel Universe for the first time since Thor Ragnarok in 2017. Hela and her ruthless army of the dead were an integral part of the fen delight of Thor Ragnarok, which remains the highest grossing Thor movie ever made. Despite an amusing appearance as the villain played by Melissa McCarthy in Thor Love and Thunder, Kate Blanchett has not returned to the role of Hela since she was seen with Surtur. In the third solo God of Thunder movie, Kate Blanchett reincarnated Hela for the second time in the Marvel Universe in the seventh episode of the second season of What If. Since the villain died, she only had to be resurrected in animated format. Noticeably, Blanchett voiced Hela in the episode titled What If. Hela found the Ten Rings were alternate storylines from Thor and Shanghai intertwine. In this universe, Odin banishes Hela to Earth for her lust to subjugate the Nine Worlds, and the Old Father strips her of her powerful helmet. This changes the idea of how Odin punishes Thor in his first solo movie by sending Mjolnir to Earth. After years of battling the Mandarin, Hela ends up in Talo, where she takes on a new form and learns mystical martial arts. Eventually, she achieves her goal. In the finale, Hela and Wenna join forces to defeat Odin when the ruler of Asgard comes to Earth. Despite Odin's offer to return to Asgard and protect Earth, Hela rejects him, regains her helmet and powers, makes an alliance with the Ten Rings, and becomes the goddess of death bringing peace to the Nine Realms along with the Mandarin. Despite the uncertainty of Hela's place in the MCU, her return to the franchise remains a mystery. The first season of What If only hinted at the character, and it's likely season two will be the last chance to see Hela in the near future, as director Brian Andrews has hinted at promising an even crazier third season.